Good morning, Mike with Remote Cycle, and I'm here with my son Bennett. And Bennett, of course, is riding Peanut, the Yamaha TW200. The mighty TW with its 196 cc's and 16 horsepowers. Oh, yes. Of course, you're sitting on midnight right now. And we're here today in Mackinac City, Michigan, for a little bit of a special event. We've got a fun video today. What we're gonna do is first cross the Mackinac Bridge. Um, the only sketchy part is that, in particular, the Mackinac Bridge is sketchy. Yeah, exciting. Now, the whole purpose of this is to get to Michigan's Upper Peninsula, where we're gonna go east out to Detour Village, except there's a ferry boat there that takes cars and motorcycles to Drummond Island, which really is the dead end. It's a chain of islands along there, and Drummond Island is the end of the United States. And the next island over, Cockburn Island, is Canada. So there's no, there's no ferry to that. You'd have to pass through uh, customs. So we're gonna go out to Drummond Island and we're gonna see if we can get lunch on Drummond Island. We're gonna explore the roads. First up, Mackinac Bridge. Adventure time. Adventure, let's go. Okay, quick uh, pit stop here. This is the little visitor center and park uh, just at the south end of the Mackinac Bridge. There we go, we're going on there. You, you oh ready? Yep, we're ready to go. You're born for this. Absolutely. Yes. Over there you've got Mackinac Island with, look at these machines. My Steve, Lady Steve. And ready to hit the UP. Let's get some pictures and get on the road. You bet. Where's the sign that says, Motorcycles under 125. There's your ramp. You guys down there jet skiing through. So here's the grading on the left. We're gonna go on over to have a look through the grading. It's kind of cool. Look down, you can see the water through the grating. <laughs> he's, not, he's not willing to try it, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, who cares? These tires float over it, no big deal. Yeah, you can see straight down. If you, if you look down, the, the water's, you know, 200 feet off. <laughs> it's crazy. Kind of a nasty feeling. All set? You're good. Okay. Wow. That was a mess. Okay, Mackinac. That was not organized. That was a mess. So what's she on about? They they wouldn't they had to run the card twice. And then she couldn't clear the system until the gate went down. Oh my god. So a car had to or something vehicle had to go through. Yeah, bye. So yeah, I had to send you out of there. And then closed, and then I had to do a whole thing again. All right, follow me into St. Ignace. Yeah. And we're going to cruise St. Ignace and then get on up north. Right. Let's go. Let's roll. Let's roll. find some gasoline here in town. Ooh, and they don't have any gas, I see. Is there one pump working? Is it this van? Did he get gas successfully? No? We might be in a world of trouble here. I don't know if this is the only gas in town or what. We'll buy it from some neighbor. The 
let's find out what the story is with gas here. He said they had to change the gas prices, so they bagged all the pumps. Oh. To me, that seems super weird. Yeah. Why don't you just change the price? 1.4 gallons to one gallon. I smoked you. Yeah, buddy. This does not look like a Jeep. What's that? And you've been there then? Over I've here? been out there like in a truck. Okay. Never on a bike. We're looking for lunch. That's so we're gonna, yeah. We're gonna head over. So yeah. For I, lunch. I was told that lunch is better on an island. Yeah, is it? And I'm gonna find out. So. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the one place so that's on the island is good. Yeah, I think it's probably the best place out there to eat then. <laughs> one choice, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully it's on the paved road, babe. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Hand me a phone, I'll take a picture of the car on the boat. Oh, that'd be nice. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what's on there. I think there's some place that said it was uh, like Mexican or something or... Yummy. I think we just find lunch first. You know, hungry. to Detour Village. One out of ten. Ooh, let's see. 0.5 an option. 0.5. So far, the Esters, we sat right down. Yep. And we have parking. <laughs> Premium parking. <laughs> right there. And uh, we're about to figure out this menu, so. Okay, it's a motorcycle tradition that's happening here. On the menu, presented by Bennett, will you please read? The El Jefe Challenge Burrito for fifty nine ninety nine. Sixty of your own dollars. Sixty dollars. Not four, not five, six burritos stuffed into one El Jefe burrito. Beef, pork, or chicken. Smothered in sauce, red or green. A basket of chips and salsa. A large drink. And you have to finish it in 30 minutes. <laughs> 30. What's the reward? A t-shirt. And bragging rights. Another t-shirt? Bragging rights. We have delicious, delicious yes. burritos happening right now. And um, they're going to disappear now. Goodbye. This is a review of Esther's on Drummond Island. It says, I cook, you enjoy. Not fast food, just good food. Not true, it was fast. It was fast. And I've got to be perfectly honest. I don't think they have a burrito that good in Mexico. It was that was perfect. Actually good. It was yeah. delicious. Yeah. We're talking crisp, fresh ingredients that I did not expect yeah. where we are. I don't know how they pulled that off, but delicious. Come to Esther's yep. in Drummond Island for lunch. Uh, we're going to hit some pavement. We're going to tear up the roads around here, see what's uh, all... There's a traffic jam at Esther's here. Thank you, Esther's. That was special lunch. Woo. This just keeps getting better. This is hilarious. What a road. This is awesome. The little TW is right, right behind me. <laughs> oh dear. This is funny. Oh, bumps in the corners. Gotta love that. Somebody was a genius to pave this the whole way out here. It was a great road. It's probably one of the best roads in Michigan I've ever been on. Look at this. This is so great. That 
was an epic little jaunt back here. I know. That was something. Seriously. It was good, tasty roads. Just over yonder is Canada. Cockburn Island is right over there. Sure would be neat if we could see it. <laughs> uh, roads, one to 10. Solid six or seven. What? That's a nine. Really? It's good. It was a it's great, good. great road. It's better than M22. Oh yeah. Better than those things. Yep. This was properly good. We came a long way to figure this thing out and it was worth the trip. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Looks like the homeowners are here. Yeah, we got some friends. <laughs> That looks heavy and slow. There he goes. He's out of here. All right, cool. Cool. That was fun. Give it a try. Give it a tasty try. I'm gonna challenge old Peanut here to whatever road this is. Right. Yeah, it's sensitive. Yeah, it'll take you a minute to figure out the friction zone. Yeah. All right. Come on, Peanut. Come on, Peanut. You miss me? Oh, yeah. We got the Peanut. We got my audio and his bike. That's kind of funny. I think I'm in fifth now. All right, here she goes. 30 miles an hour. I'll let him get kind of comfortable. Yeah, he's doing S turns, uh huh. Get comfortable. Oh, big bump. When you roll on power on this, you just go almost, almost wide open and really nothing changes. What'd you think? Lord Vader, your bike is ready. Lord Vader, your bike is ready. Yeah. Yeah. That makes motorcycling a bit more fun. That makes motorcycling, you're talking to the microphone. Times we got our first midnight review. More fun. Um, a thousand times more fun? Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> if that guy is fun by virtue of the laughter you'll have on it. I was laughing the whole time. This is fun by virtue of the eye opener that it is. You just. Yeah. You hear it and you shift it. And, and you it's feel so it. It's so easy to downshift. It's oh, yeah. It's so easy. It's just, it's designed. It just slots right in. It's engineered. And all you want to do is hear the motor. All yeah. She's got a motor. And one thing I noticed also, it rotates so easy. Oh, yeah. That thing falls like, into the corner. This thing, you just. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's so under you. That's what it's for. Yeah. For um, corners. So, yeah, this is a different level, though. All right. Well, that's a good first enjoyable. review. Yeah. Yeah. She's a beast. That's it. Good. Mm hmm. Well, here's an unexpected surprise. Drummond Island has a tunnel. What? One main tunnel. How cool is this? We gotta do a rev in here. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Again, uh, pavement ends and yeah, road ends. Look at that. That's awesome. The view of a great lake, Lake Huron. Time to check the weather. We're getting weather. We're making the spin. They waved us right on. And before I could get the kickstand down, we were moving. <laughs> we're like moving i thought i had to pay but it's it's round trip 
oh. it's always free to come off. That's cool. So if you figure out a way to get on there without them, you can get off for free. It's fast. This is the fastest ferry I've ever been on. Look at all the Honda CRF 300Ls. All right. Cloverland Electric Cooperative. So f glad they're cooperative. Radar break. Yeah. That looks threatening as heck. We're going right into it. That's what I'm saying. So let me see the direction here. We're turning around. Yep. Let's try the north route. A right. little longer, different to look at, a little straighter. Really? Ooh. I decided to not go the Lakeshore route because this glob seems to be moving southeast. So we're like on the north, the north, there's two choices, north side, south side, basically. We're on a peninsula. Um, well, that plan worked out. The radar shows the Detour Village and most of Drummond and that whole southern route, the M134 that we came in on. They got pounded just now. It's all lots of radar down there. So we're up here uh, north of it, high and dry. I had just the slightest sprinkle on my visor, and then we got out of it again. So uh, yeah, we're we're, we're we're north again, and we're turning west now. And uh, it looks like there's a north-south road out here that will connect us all the way back to 134 and we can slide in behind all this. And we're about to make our turn south here, try to cut back down toward Lake Huron. Man, look at that monster out ahead of us here. Yeah, paved, okay. Good, check mark. He's a super tall thunderhead. These are really small pockets and cells. Oh, does pavement end? Oh man, it's good and solid. Not sandy, not muddy. You know what I mean? Ooh, that's marbly. I'm floating. It's so weird to feel it lean and not turn. Seasonal road. Oh yeah. It sure is. I don't know what season. We're going cross country now. Come on, midnight. Oh boy, this is bad. We just went into loose ad gravel. Holy crap. Shut up, because I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Let's just try to enjoy the ride. And two seconds it took. Turn the camera off, and we got raindrops. And they're pounding. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot of rain. There is nothing I can do. I got no shelter. I got to pull off. I got to get this camera in the gotta get the camera we got a problem okay yikes okay camera away no fun Came through that rain after the gravel road that we had ventured on. We're just kind of hiding at the gas station here, trying to make up our mind. If we're gonna go back out there west, looks like we're ready to go pretty much. Get back over the Mackinac Bridge. We're keeping the camera dry, Mackinac's next. This time we got our cash ready. <laughs> uh, all right, welcome to St. Ignace. We've had our break after a, a two hour journey to this point back from Detour Village after dodging all the storms and winding up on a gravel road really not even a gravel road just a trail what is it it's 6 30 we've been going since 10 so that's eight and a half hours of, of moving minus lunch that's how we do it oh my body is sore oh, holy cow we've got uh, about 230 miles in on the day so far so yeah jump on the bridge cross back over uh, call it a day. Four hours. He can go through now. Yep. He gone. 
got it. That was smoother. GW200 versus Mackinac Bridge. That was the smallest little bike for a pretty big road. <laughs> Past the pole that blocks the winds. <laughs> That's a shocker. like that, we're back in the Lower Peninsula, it's time to head home and get something to eat. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Remotor Cycle, we uh, certainly enjoyed making it. Hit subscribe, we'll see you at the next one, and uh, thanks for watching.